It's around 5 a.m. in the morning of Saturday. You woke up when you felt uncomfortable and wet down there. You sat up and closed your eyes in frustration. Yes, you got your periods first time after this arranged marriage. You sighed and looked to your beside. Your husband is sleeping peacefully. Thank God you woke up on the right time before it got stained. That will be very awkward for you because you both don't share that typical husband vibe bond. You get down from your bed and went to washroom to clean yourself. After washing yourself and changing into comfortable clothes, you came. You were feeling contraction in your lower abdomen, so you again went to bed for sleep since you have enough time. It's been almost a month since your marriage. It's a simple marriage arranged by your parents. They are best friends. Since both of you were not in any relationship, they tied you both and thought of converting their friendship into relationship. You both are totally similar when it comes to being introvert, not getting open up so easily to anyone. For the first day of marriage, it was so awkward for you both. How you both managed to start conversation, but now both of you have become a bit comfortable with each other. You both respect your parents' decision and putting efforts in this marriage, like you cook for him and taking care of things while he try to make you feel comfortable around him. You don't expecting him from too much because you know his personality and totally respect it. Things takes time. He is so workaholic because of work he hadn't been in any relationship. On the other hand, you hadn't been because of your introvert nature. In this fast forward life, people don't have patience, so you prefer to being single. And after college, you married to Jungkook. JK's POV I woke up at my usual time, turned to other side and saw her still sleeping. This is the first time I'm seeing her sleeping because she has always woke up early. I smiled slightly, seeing her sleeping figure. This marriage is not a bad decision. She may be stay quiet but has a very pure heart. She is just like me not to open up to everyone so easily. That's why she understands me and eventually I am knowing her too. I sighed and get down from my bed glancing her sleeping figure one last time. I went to bathroom. After shower, when I came, I saw her still sleeping. Now I am a little bit worried. I walked to her and hesitantly touched her forehead. Thank God she doesn't have fever. But I think my cold touch disturbed her sleep. I panicked and slowly patted her head to make her sleep. I feel so happy seeing her sleeping peacefully again. Vyan's POV I opened my eyes after good sleep. I grabbed my phone and opened it. My eyes wandered in shock after seeing the time. It's almost 10 in the morning. When did I become this heavy sleeper? I thought and shifted my gaze and saw him in his office suit. I panicked because I haven't made breakfast yet. Jungkook, why didn't you woke up me? You will be late for your office. I haven't made your breakfast. You sat him while lowering your head feeling sad. Don't worry, I have made breakfast and I am on my time. He replied calmly when he saw your saddened face. You feel more guilty. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have slept this late. It's okay, he said adjusting his tie looking into mirror. He grabbed his wallet and bag. You were still in bed feeling guilty. He noticed your face and said, I am leaving for office. Don't think too much about it and don't skip your meal. He gave you a slight smile and left. You smiled too. Evening time. You are making dinner. You thought to make it early as your cramps are increasing. You have severe cramps every time. You are scaring now how you gonna bear it in front of Jungkook. You are not comfortable around him that much to share this kind of thing. While making dinner, you got text from Jungkook that he will be late. Don't wait for him. He always does that whenever he get late. Always tell you not to wait for him and eat your dinner.
After making dinner, you come to your bedroom because your cramps are getting worse now. Your lower abdomen and back started paining badly. You lay on bed. You put it extra pillows underneath your back and sides so you can get any relief. Every time of month, you get severe back pain. Your belly hurts too, but back hurts more. After struggling and trying so many positions, finally you able to find the position which make your pain little relief. You lay in semi forward position, putting one pillow over your belly and some underneath your back. Around 11 pm, Jungkook came from office. You were still on same position, holding pillow over your belly. He noticed your pale face. You look pale. Is any problem? He asked with concern. I'm fine. Go and freshen up. I will heat the food. No need. I had my dinner. Have you eaten? Yes. You lied because you don't want it to move from your place. Why use it? He saw it. You thought and closed your eyes in embarrassment. Don't be embarrassed. I'm your husband. Tell me if it hurts more. You nodded sigh. Don't worry. I'm feeling bit relieved. You can sleep. Are you sure? You assured him. It's midnight and you still couldn't able to sleep because of your back pain. After taking painkiller, your abdomen cramp got relieved. But back is still hurting, which is making difficult for sleep. You being totally restless, continuously turning your sides for finding perfect position, but nothing works. You couldn't bear this pain anymore and finally tears escaped from your eyes. You released a painful soap which caused to disturb his sleep. He saw you turning side by side, being restless. How much pain in you are? 
and it hurts him too. You don't know why. Why and you okay? You quickly turn to other side, avoiding your teary eyes. You told him that you are fine, not to worry. You didn't turn back after he questioned you because you don't wanted to disturb his sleep. He is tired from office, need proper sleep for his work. You can't bother him for your this silly period cramps, which comes every month. Interrupting your thoughts, he pulled you by waist and back hugged you. His manly tattooed hand was encircling your waist. Your breath hissed when your back bumped on his hard chest. Silver ran down to your spin and thousands of butterflies started roaming in your whole body. Jungkook, words left from your mouth like whispers. Maybe this could help you to ease your pain. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Should I bring hot water back for you? He said his lips were right behind your ear, sending shivers in your body. He was about to get up but you stopped him putting your hands over his. Don't go, stay like this, your body warmth is enough. You said sigh while his cheeks get red. A slight smile appeared on his lips, seeing you being comfortable around him. He pulled you more closer and started stroking your head to help you fall asleep. On the other hand, your mind is totally distracted from the pain. You were feeling different sensation. Also, his warmth really helped you to relieve your pain. And staying like this, you both drifted into sleep. Next morning, you woke up after peaceful sleep and found yourself on still in his arms. You admired his sleeping face, couldn't help but run your finger over his face. You got startled when he suddenly opened his eyes. Did you sleep well? How's your pain? Feeling bit relieved now, you smiled and said, Jungkook, thank you for everything. Last night, you helped me a lot. Don't say thank you and YN, please don't hesitate to share your pain with me. Not only pain, please share everything with me. Jungkook, to be honest, from last night, I became more comfortable around you. That means from now, I can get cuddles every day. He said smiling, your cheeks pick up crimson red. He cupped your face and made you look at him. Vyan, I'm loving this new life of me. Having wife is gives me different types of happiness. Now I feel like coming home early from office so I can meet you and have dinner with you. This is all different. I can't explain how much happiness it gives me.